Well, you know, you have plenty of options when you go to the liquor store and you're looking for a beer to pick up. Well, now there's one from a Minnesota businessman, and he's giving half of his profits to military families. We've got to find out more about this. Joining us to talk about this new beer is Phil Knutson, founder and CEO of Founding Fathers Beer, and Tom Lyons, Air Force veteran and board member of the Minnesota Military Family Foundation. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Uh, thanks for coming here. Uh, it, it's Sunday. It's football day, so we should talk about beer. I guess that's only right. Uh, Phil, let's begin with you. You're entering an already crowded, and you go to a liquor store, and it's there's beers and everything everywhere. You're taking on, and you're very open about this. You want to take on the Millers and the Budweisers. Why do that? Well, Founding Fathers Products uh, has been formed to uh, produce. American made products uh, that compete with the leading national brands of any particular product out there mm -hmm. while donating half the profits back to the United States military and their families. So, certainly a different business model. Were you in beer before or just a beer drinker before? Just a beer drinker. Uh, two and a half years ago, somebody had the idea that, hey, Phil, your first product introduced should be a beer, and uh, we ran with it from there. So, uh, with the uh, leading brands now uh, in production here in America, owned by foreign owned companies, right. we thought this was a great opportunity uh, to uh, introduce the new American lager designed to compete with those. Yeah, outside of the, the where the profits are going, we'll talk about that in a second, what makes your beer different then than the, the Buds and the Millers? Well, I, I think if you can tell by the color of it's, the beer, um, the quality, rich. yeah, it's very smooth tasting beer. We well, feel it stands up uh, very well with the leading should brands. We, should we all have a taste here? All right. There you go. Cheers. Let's see here. Sunday morning, it's... Uh, 947, it's time to. Uh, so, wow. not only That's in good. taste, but we are American made, which the largest uh, breweries now in operation are foreign owned. Yeah. And uh, we're donating half of our profits to the United States military and their families. Yeah, let's talk about that. Tom Lines, you here. The military, Minnesota Military Family Foundation helps the loved ones of deployed troops by you know, getting things like cars repaired, new furnaces, furnace repairs, you know, those day to day things that they need help with. How will money from Founding Fathers? really help your organization? Well, Tom, we've been at it since 2004, and mm -hmm. we've been helping military families in today's world with technology being what it is. The deployed troops can find out if there's a problem back home right now. And, and if there is a problem, and they're, and they're deployed and they're on a mission, they're distracted, and they need to pay attention to their mission. So what we do at the Minnesota Military Family Foundation is we provide a financial safety net mm -hmm. for those families. And since 2004, we've given out grants to over 1,000 Minnesota military families totaling almost $2 million. And in order to do that, we're out fundraising all the time right? because we want to make sure we've got enough funds to do that. And I met Phil a little over a year ago and we started talking about helping Minnesota military families right here at home mm -hmm. from the sale of a product here at home. And of course, uh, this is going to help with our fundraising efforts quite a bit. What's your reaction from people then? Obviously, you see you've been doing this since 2003, 2004. 2004. What's the reaction from the troops then who are deployed to say, oh my gosh, you, because you, you fixed the furnace, you fixed the car, what, how does that truly help them? What's their reaction to that then? Well, if you can imagine, if you're a deployed troop and say the heater goes out in your, in your furnace at home, mm. you're going to find out about it today. Now, think how helpless you feel half a world away not being able to take care of your family. This just happened two weeks ago. And the financial hardships that some of these families are facing because of the deployments Absolutely. can really strap the pocketbook. Well, they come to us through the family assistance centers in the state of Minnesota. We found out about one of these two weeks ago, and within 24 hours, they came to us. We had bids to fix the furnace. We wrote the grant check, and it was done. So that troop, who felt so helpless 48 hours ago, now think how wonderful they feel, knowing mm -hmm. that their family lives in a community that cares. Not only did we fix the problem, we paid for the problem, now they can get back to their mission and focus on getting home safe. Boy, it seems like a great partnership. Real quickly, Phil, what's next? Uh, more merchandising, more beers? Is it just the one so far, the lager? The lager, the light will be uh, entering the market sometime in January, and uh, then we'll, who, who knows what? Sky's the limit. We'll be entering the food industry and uh, everyday consumables that uh, there's not a product out there we won't go after. Sky's the limit. That's, a, that's American optimism right there. Well, for more information on Founding Fathers Beer, the company's story, and how profits will help military families, just go to foundingfathersbrewingco.com. Lots of information there. Phil Knutson, good luck with the beer. Tom Lyons, thanks for your service. Thanks, and uh, thanks for helping out all those Minnesota military families. And boy, good luck. Everybody wins, huh? Thanks, Tom. Get to have beer, people get helped, and another business is started. Love that combination, Carl. Guys, cheers again. Carl, you got to do some forecasting because we got to try this again. I didn't get a good taste the first two times. Yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and leave it there for the Okay. No.